going on mike you know what time it is today's friday it's the bam show we're going to end this weekend with the bang but i got this question for you, you ready should the 49ers give brandon i youth the amon ross st brown deal Ooh, no or maybe let's talk about it let's do it baby right after this baby you know how we do <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Bam <laughs> Show Friday edition. Mike, man, what's good? Happy Friday to you. Happy early Friday weekend. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, uh, Fridays are great, man. Um, the weather is beautiful out here. It said it was 81 degrees, but I was walking around outside and it was a breeze and no humidity. Mm. That joint felt good. That felt good, man. It was it was nice out there today, man. How's it, how's it over there where you are? I don't know. It was kind of hot today. Like I was out in the sun, kind of like right before high noon. The sun was mm. beaming, so I don't know. Like it was hot. I was sweating for sure. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty hot. You know. I'm about to be out in the sun, and uh, even more like for the rest of the day. So like it's, it's you know it is what it is. Um, We've done but, some things a couple of times on these shows where like tank tops be coincidental. We got red and black going on today, unplanned, right? But what's what's the fit what's the hat what's what is that so this is a hat from uh gift from the residency company so um mm. i'm not sure if this is on their website or whatever but um oh so you got some exclusive fire right there yeah this is this that what is exclusive. it, is it it's a bg what does it say on the front of it i was trying S- to S- trying sbg to, sbg huh what's that name? super bowl game what super bowl whatever you say it stand for yeah I see I a fist ask. at the top of it though, right? Okay, it's yeah. cool. I like the I like the red and black. It's cool, man. So I was just I was just you know inquiring minds it. may want to know. Shout you out know, to residency, y'all. Make sure y'all use that uh, breezy promo, promo code. code when you yeah. over there. What what what's the code? S F breezy. S-F-Breezy. There you go. I knew it had something to do with breezy. S F breezy. My bad. Make sure. And they got a promo. sale going on too, so that'd be pretty cool. Mm. Shout out to residency. www.residency.com backslash use that promo code S F breezy. You can save on your total purchase. Plus the sale, so I mm. uh, appreciate that. Mike, look, I, you know, um, I can we finally say, like, the last phase of the off season is officially here? Like, you know, it's the 40-day, I call it the 40-day sabbatical. You know what I'm saying? Mini camp is, is adjourned, and now the players get 40 days to to themselves, sort of. This is... This is the time of year where the coaches find out exactly what their players are made of. And they they throw these subs and these shots at the players right before the break uh, at their pressers, every opportunity they get. I can only imagine what they're saying in the actual meetings. But they're saying, if you go away from here these 40 days and you don't do any working out, it's going to show, and it's going to show us what type of person you are, what type of player you are. Um, if you go away from here these 40 days and you only stay in the gym, it's going to show us what type of person you are. We don't want one to do either. We want someone who gets a good balance. Spend some time with your family, but know that you're also coming back to a grueling physical job, and you need to be in good shape to do it. So, uh, this is this is this is when the cards kind of reveal themselves. You know, this is going to be the difference between a full, healthy, 18-week regular season schedule versus, damn, it's the third week and I pulled a hammy and I'm out for a while. It, this is when that is determined. Yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean, it shouldn't be determined that through through these this forty days sabbatical. I mean, hammies are hammies. That doesn't mean it happens. You could work out and then mess up your hamstring first day in training camp, and you was full. You know, you you took you had great balance. Like you know what I'm saying. So, you know, but I I, I think work ethic maybe is what you're you're alluding to more than just the you know type of soft tissue injuries. Not wishing that upon any NFL player entering the 2024 season, but but Mike's right. Like, you know, my expectations for the majority of the team 
is especially those that aren't starting that know they're not starting and that's looking to you know gain some type of some type of moving up on the depth chart they need to make sure that they out there and then even those that are the starting you know i, I keep mike talano who found a statement saying that hey i'm i'm i gotta go out there and compete for my spot let me know that no one has a starting spot other than probably brock purdy and jake moody i, th- I feel like those are the two that are pretty much a lock and maybe mitch wisnowski as well i don't think we have any other kickers in this camp and so i think that jake moody's in Tabor pepper like i yeah, i don't want to leave him mm. out because you know he stays he's still blocking me so uh mike i want i want <laughs> i want to talk about um brandon Ayuk, the behavior um the newest news from his wide receiving coach outside of you know the team and I want to get your thoughts on, like, you know, this question. Should the 49ers give Brandon Ayuk the Amon Ross St. Brown deal? You know, you started off the show, said no. Then you said maybe. And you said, we'll talk about it. So let's do it. Shout out to everybody so, out there as well, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We truly appreciate you. Shout out to the Breezy Bunch crew for sure. Thank you. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the stream, to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And feel free today to join the Breezy Bunch Members Club. Do that right now. So, Amon Ra St. Brown's contract. Yeah, your mic's away from your mouth, too. So I, I, I can tell. Yeah, his, so his contract was four years, $120 million. Four years, $120 million, $77 million guaranteed. That's not, that's not a bad deal. It's not a bad deal I mean, at all. If you max it out, that's thirty million a year. Obviously, like we don't need to do that crazy kind of math there. They made it nice and simple for us, right? Um, yeah, I'm. I cannot throw these numbers at you. Please. Four please. years. One twenty-five. Eighty million guarantee. Or maybe make it one twenty-six. Fryuk. Yeah. When did when did when did Brown sign this deal? Um, I don't know uh, if the top of my, does it matter, but I mean, I, w- I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it, if it, I don't know if it's going to be much higher than this this St. Brown deal. Well, I didn't, I didn't give you that much, much higher. I, I added six you more, went million. five million more. You added I gave, uh, six yeah, million, but, but but and and I guarantee three more million. That's not a lot, much more. That's a million and a half more a year. That is a lot more. That's a lot more money. I I don't think that's a lot more money. Like if I if I would have went up like hundred thirty million, like you know what I'm saying, like hundred thirty five million, that like what what was um uh what was what was Justin Jefferson's guarantee? We just talked about it. Was it? Was, was it all I know is it was seventy eight percent. That's all I know. Dang, I thought it was seventy eight million. See, I needed I need to know what his guarantee was. All right, but, I got you. I'll pull that up. Hold on. So Justin Jefferson's guarantee. What is that? All right, there we go. About to start fighting over here with technology. So, all right. So JJ, let me, let me put my microphone here. Damn. See, he got 140 million. So me asking for 126 for Brandon Ayuk, I don't think is a bit much of a reach. He's getting 110 guarantee, bro. And I stopped at 80. We just went through the yeah, numbers. But you, wait, but that's not, you can't just say that. Like, you, yes, you did You did stop at 80, but you didn't do the terms and all that stuff. Like, you didn't, you didn't, the amount. What do you mean? Because he only, he only had 88.7 due at signing. He had 110 guaranteed, but due at signing was 88.7. So I you're mean, talking about just the guaranteed. You don't care about the, I don't, how it's structured. Know. You want to know what the guarantees are. Yeah, that's it. So that's the only thing that really matters. Other the other stuff matters for the cap. I can give two flying cares about the salary cap. Well, I mean, it's lower than that one. It's high. So you want you want Ayuk to be pegged in the middle. I didn't mean to say pegged, but you want you want Ayuk's contract to come into the middle. What's wrong with saying pegged? You don't know what pegging is? Uh. Uh-uh. I thought it was like All when right. you 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 put the pegs into the holes. I mean. Yeah, but it's cool. We don't even have to do this. 
So <laughs> it's uh, uh It's pegging like something sexual? Yes. Okay, got it. <laughs> See? That was easy. That was easy. See how easy that was? I can only imagine the chat is going. We always do it some off kilter. All right. So 110 guaranteed out of the 140. And you're saying do 80 guaranteed out of the Instead of 140, do 126. Yeah. Four year deal still? Four year deal. So, okay. So, same term for all of these guys. Let's just and say you're putting mm-hmm. Ayuk six million more than Amon Ra. You're doing fourteen less than Jefferson. Mm-hmm. Total. Yeah, because remember when we did the number breakdown on the statistics? It's kind of like doesn't that kind of map out? You know, when you factor in the amount of less targets with the re- mm-hmm. the less receptions. Mm-hmm. And the production is pretty much still there. Do you believe that you should be paid based off of your production or how a team plans? See, to that's not, you know what I believe. No, 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 I'm asking you. No, I'm, I'm being dead serious. No, because I know, but it's I like, can, it, go ahead. It's I weird. Say, I could justify Justin Jefferson making that much more than Ayuk. Yeah, because based of Based off of your his, coming in here being the number one. Right, right. And I, and I get that. Like, I get the justification, but you have to look at the numbers. Like, you have to say, dang, my receiver did this and you don't use him as your number one. Yeah. And then yeah. if the Niners want to say, well, we could just plug in another guy to do this, you know, you know then, be, then be my guess. But I don't I, I feel like the numbers that I'm putting out aren't. I think you did it. Astronomically far fetched. Now, if you want, we could do it from 121 to 126. And so let's just say I, the Niners start I at 121. I think Brandon IU starts at 126. You want to come down in the middle of that? I think he I think he starts at 130. This 140. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. 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 So 121 yeah. to 130. That's nine million they gotta figure out. I think the middle was 126. I, I think you did it. I'm dead ass. 126 five. It. Yeah. I think I think they do that. And then they come in with the guarantees. I don't think the guarantee is gonna be almost 80 percent now that's what we got to figure out so if they do is that 80 percent of the contract if i if i ask for 80 million guaranteed it, no it's less than 80 I mean, right it's less yeah it's less than 80 percent. right so if you only did 80 guaranteed which is what you said originally right so yep. if we come in at 126 million oh i did it backwards hold on so we're going to do 80 million divided by 126 million that's only 63 percent that's that's perfect for the niners as far as their money being tied up, they'll be able to figure so it's out really the cap. A three-year deal. It's really a three-year deal. Because if you do the eighty and divide it by three, that's twenty-six million a year. That's really what it's coming down to, right there. That's that's going to be it. They're going to give him that one twenty on face value, which he could earn if he played all four years. And blah, there blah, you blah, go. Blah. There you go. But it's really going to be a three-year three deal year. with that out that the Niners. It's the love same to do. thing they did with Debo Samuel. Bro, you did it. You right. it I mean, I, I, you, and, you and it out the park. Now, now the question is, will the 49ers do this? I, I think that's the question. And TJ Huzman Zada stated, you know what I'm saying? Um, he he, remember he came out earlier. He's still around. Yeah, he's his actually he's actually he's Brandon Ayuk's wide receiver coach. For real? For that's real? That's what you were talking about. You said the coach away from the team. That's what you were talking about. Yes. He still got a ponytail? Yo, I don't know, bro. Man, I, think, bro. I think that's gone. I think the man bun is gone, dog. Like, I'm, <laughs> um, but, you know, if you remember, he came out earlier, Mike, and he he talked about Brandon Ayuk and the Niners will be getting a deal done soon, right? He said that on 95-70 game, right? Uh-huh. Um, and so he thought that, after Amon Ross St. Brown got his deal that the Niners would come around, you got similar type of receivers, similar type of production. You know what I'm saying? Amon Ra obviously is more targeted. So, you know, but the yardage is, is almost identical. Amon Ross St. Brown has 3,558 yards in three seasons, whereas Ayuk has 3,931 in four seasons. Ayuk has more touchdowns. He has four more touchdowns. 
Ayuk has um, a few less first downs. He has four less first downs. Ayuk averages more per reception, but the risk, the, the the thing is, the targets and the receptions are totally different, right? It's four twenty nine and three fifteen for Amon Ra. It's three ninety nine and two sixty nine receptions for Brandon Ayuk. So that's the difference, difference, right? So mm -hmm. my my first my first take or question to you is, you know. Does Brandon Ayuk deserve m more than Amon Ra St. Brown? That's a that's a, a fairer question than him versus Justin Jefferson. Correct. Because I feel like I feel like St. Brown may be their top wide receiver, but they've got other weapons on that team. <clears throat> that they don't they've have to pay good, now. They got rookies and stuff. Right, but they've got a good uh tight end. They've got good running backs over there. Correct. They're, they're almost a good wide receiver. Yeah, they're, they're pretty comparable to the 49ers if we're being, you know, weapon for weapon. Um, I think I, I don't think it depends on what side of this you're looking at. I don't think Ayuk should be paid like a wide receiver one because he's not that here. However, I think he deserves wide receiver one money. I don't know how to explain it. I've been we've been trying to explain this all week long. The I, Niners he, he, should not pay him as wide receiver one. He see, deserved that's, that's wide receiver one money from a team. But see, I think okay, but then but but he's the, he is still a wide receiver one, whether he's with the Niners or, the or 49ers. not. 49ers. But he and that's the thing. And he deserves Even wide receiver on the Niners, one running. He's wide receiver one. So we paid George Kittle tight end one money, right? You paid Debo. You paid Debo Samuel wide receiver two money. Well, we paid her. We paid, paid Debo Samuel one money at the time. But, it was it was top ten. That's what so salary. Okay, so one. I, I said wide receiver two because I felt like they got they got a they got a good versatile package with Debo, right? Like they put a lot of wide back factors in his contract, right? For him to make mm -hmm. certain you know marks in his contract, <clears throat> for him to peg certain marks in his contract. Yep, and so. So I think but I think Brandon even, and I even but even with those bonuses though Debo wasn't going to crack top five wide receiver money why why did they do that but he did was it, though was it, was it top five at the time maybe it yes. was top five at the time it was definitely top five at the time it was always going to be top five at the time you have to pay your guy top it was top five remember three of them guys three four of those guys were represented by the same damn agent yeah so then why are we sitting here having this stupid ass argument why don't we just go look at wide receivers average salaries well you have to look at the ones now because you can't that's go right. back I, I know that that's we, what i'm saying so why don't we, we just pull but we up? just did big bro we literally just went to this we did justin jefferson he just put the market to a whole nother stratosphere see i'm only focusing on that's why you did it yes you were moving down the wide receivers person by person yo you so smooth that i ain't even <laughs> um and and all right so okay wow this is a pretty dope all right, so I just found this thing on Spot Rack. They have an NFL salary ranking, so you can pick the position. Oh, they dope. have the top five in everything: top five cap hit, top five total cash, dope. top five base salary, top five contract value. They got it all broke down: contract length, workout bonuses. All right, they got we'll spend everything. some time on this, but let's go. Let's pick something from this right now, then. Okay, so contract value, so like 140 million. So here's the range: you got two people at 140. That's Devontae Adams and Justin Jefferson. You got Tyreek Hill's people. next. Nope. Well, yeah, you got two people at 120, and that's Amon Ross St. Brown, who makes a little bit more than Tyreek Hill. And then you have Amari Cooper with 100. See, and that now. So that, that's the question, right? Because on that list, you mentioned Tyreek Hill and Amari Cooper. Now, does Brandon Ayuk. Is he going to command more than Amari Cooper or Tyree Kill? And if Tyree Kill is the only other person at that one twenty million, that's where it's going to get tricky, because that's the Niners factor. That's the you're not Tyree Kill. It's not fair. That's the not fair. On this list I'm not Tyree Kill. I'm not <laughs> saying it's fair, but the the, <laughs> the but the ones that the ones that are above Tyree Kill are them. Like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, Justin Jefferson is Justin Jefferson. No, he's not Tyree Hill. He's Justin Jefferson. 
Who was number two? Um, um, Devontae Adams? He's Devontae Adams. And here's what's, here's what's funny. That Amari Cooper is going to go down the moment CeeDee Lamb gets his deal or Jamar Chase gets his deal. And see, Jamar Chase is in the tier to me with Amon Ra St. Brown. So hmm. if I'm the Niners, you want to offer him that type of deal now before Jamar Chase gets his deal. I believe Jamar Chase is in the same draft as Amara St. Brown, too. Remember, those, those two players are a year after Brandon Ayuk and the other guys that we just talked about. CeeDee hmm. Lamb is with Brandon Ayuk. You mean that, before? No, they're after. They came in the draft after. They're a the year later. How did they get in extensions already then? Bro. Could because that mean it would only be year three for them? They just got they just wanted to extend them. You could extend the contract, right? But on the rookie deal, do they have to finish out their rookie deal? Cause when you're not drafted, you got four year deals, right? As a rookie. You get fifth year options. So no matter what pick you get drafted, picks two through seven, it's a four year deal, correct? Mm-hmm. I thought we did this before. It's a, it's a four yeah. Mm-hmm. So Amon Ross St. Brown guess, was drafted in 2021. Wow. He got extended before his deal, so I'm assuming and you could extend. was 2020? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming well, you can extend them before their contracts expire. Now, so we did the top five for value, that number, for total value. So that means that he's got to come in there. He's got to be top five. So he's, he's got to break $100 Because to, to be million Cooper. Is the, yeah. It's five, yeah. So he's got to beat $100 million. And then as far as contract average per year, or yeah. is that what you want to look at? Yeah, that's or fine because he, do, because he doesn't have to. I'm all about the total guarantees. And so then let's, let's stick to that then. Okay, okay. So I think the total Justin guarantee Jefferson should be one. 80. Yep, it's 110. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Second is A.J. Brown with 84. 84, and I think there's, here comes Brandon Ayuk at 80. Because at three, it's a Monroe St. Brown at 77. At 77. See what I did? And then Jalen Waddle is at 76, and Cooper Cup is at 75. And there you go. And here's the kicker, right? When you look at the total guarantee number, he'll be top five total guarantee. He'll be number three. But when you go, when we talked about the type of deal, instead of it being a four year, it's really a three year deal. He's mm -hmm. not even thirty million. So that should make everybody happy because they don't want to pay him thirty million dollars a year. He doesn't need thirty million dollars a year if he's getting eighty million guaranteed. He'll be at the 26, 27 million guarantee, but he can make up to 126. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so in that fourth year, he can still bank. This is, this is crazy. I hate it. This is crazy. Can the Niners really do this? They can. They can. We got to stop asking that question. The Niners can definitely afford to do this. For sure. For sure. The question is, do they want to? Do they want to tie the money up right here? They got to get cheaper at some positions, right? Where do they get cheaper? Is Brandon I you offensive line because we got the best offensive line coach in the league? You stupid. They, but they, that's that's they, the they, first place they save money. No. And you could say defensive line too. They don't pay them. Got Mike, the highest paid defensive lineman in the entire NFL. We cannot say the defensive. We line. got two defensive linemen. We pay. We pay Nick Bosa and we pay Javon Hargrave. Hargrave. Right. I don't think that's the top, but they, they those are the two you're paying. Nick Bosa's number one. And yes. Javon Hargrave is like number three at, at, at defensive tackles. Now that right, uh, but, what's his name retired. Right. Um um the dude from the Rams. Yes. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Why do but, we do that? Why I don't know. We, just... we didn't no disrespect, because I know Rams fans are gonna watch, we just forgot. But Chris Jones is number one. Hargrave might be number five right now. <laughs> like you know I, what I mean? I don't know why we arguing. I could just look. I oh, yeah. I forgot it's I got right the site right here. It's right yeah. there. While you do that, I just want to read. This is what TJ Huzmanzada said. If the 49ers want to get a BA signed, give him the Amon Ra deal. I guaranteed he'd be in there tomorrow. They don't want to do that. If they offer him Amon Ra's deal, he would be in camp. That's his wide receiving coach, TJ Huzmanzada. This was on Willard uh, and Dibs on 95.7 game. 
Who's number one? Who's number two? It's crazy. I'm sorry, but I just looked at the 2024 cap hit, and Aaron Donald is second, and he's not playing. <laughs> That's crazy to me. All right. Uh, contract value? Okay. I was just going to let you know that I don't see his name on any of these lists. So, Remember, they restructured right. him. That's why. They restructured uh Hey, already? Hargrave. We just signed him. We signed him last year, and they restructured him this year. When you don't live up to your contract, the Niners... God, they ain't waste no time. Bro. All right, so if I look at contract average per year, he's not in the top five. However, he comes in at... Why would you click see all? And then they, they started with all positions. They don't take it to defense tackles. It's all right. I got it, though. He is at Javon Hargrave. He's at 10. Yeah. Boom, just 10. Yeah. Just that, even and that, 10, and that makes million. perfect sense. You know, so the Niners aren't they really don't spend money there, too. They try to get value players. They try to get value players. Right. And rotate them suckers in and out. I mean, they're not even paying to me. They're not even paying Leonard Floyd a lot. You know what I mean? So like. Bro, why do why do we do Nick Bose is getting thirty four million a year at number one. Do you mm -hmm. know who second place is and uh, what the number is? Forget the name. Just what do you think the number is? If, if Nick Bose is at 34. Miles Garrett got to be number two, right? Yes. Is it is it 30? No. Lower or higher? Lower. 25? Yes. Why do we give so much more? Because you Why have do we do to? this? Because, because you reset the market. Miles My, Garrett got his contract before Nick Bosa. It's the same thing with the quarterbacks, Mike. <laughs> That's a big leap, though. Like, you got to go yeah, but you $9 went, million more per year? Bet the, and this is what I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's crazy. I'm going to learn to push people around so I can smack people. That is a wild difference right there. Is Nick Bosa, is Nick Bosa worth $9 million more a year than Miles Garrett? I it dare you to lie to me. It, that's not fair to say. Like, I felt like, I honestly feel like they're defended differently. We know how they prepare for Nick Bosa. Is always going to be holds around the neck. Miles Garrett got a different type of get off. He got a different type of strength. So it, he's just always more effective. TJ Watt, always more effective. Like all these guys we talk about just seem to always be more effective. I think you pay Nick Bosa numbers. because you know he's going to command double teams and chips. And that should allow, if you got the right pieces on the opposite side, it should allow them to tee off. It didn't last year. But that's what you're thinking that should happen. No, nah, you're right. You're right. But is is so, Miles Garrett better than Nick Bosa? Yeah. But he's getting paid less. Aspects, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In certain aspects, yes. Right. No, that's if what you, I mean. If you had one snap and that person if you had, has if to get If you had home. one snap and it was a left tackle, my money's on Nick Bosa. Over Miles Garrett? Yeah. Okay. Left tackle, you said. So, okay. We'll let it go. Um, do you think Hooch Manzato was right? I think he was right. I think, I think that he's we right look too. at the Amon Ross St. Brown deal. So, d is this something that you think? Um, so, I didn't hear this in context. Do you think this is something that BA confided in him with? And said that, hey man, if they just gave me this, I'd be in there right now. It's or do you possible. think that he just thinks this? Like I don't, I didn't hear the whole context, so I don't know. I didn't hear the whole context either. I mean, it's possible you could think both, right? Um, I'm, I'm sure this could be part of the bargaining. He could have, he could have, he could have had this conversation with TJ, and he gave TJ the green light to talk about it, because Ayuk's not allowed to talk about it. Like you know what I'm saying? So. It's so that's many. Funny. That's it's so many different like avenues you can go. So here, here's the thing. What do you guys think out there, right, Mike? You think they should give him this type of deal, right? Did you change your mind? You you started off the show saying no, maybe I don't know. No, nah, I'm I'm back with it. But so he would be getting more than Debo, w which is fine. You resetting the and market. You have to reset the market. So that's obviously any wide receiver that's going to get paid right now, that's top tier, is going to get more than Debo. More than. 
if we did if we did 120 see like jamar chase you don't have to worry about jamar this, chase you know why why i know because his agent is going to try to top that justin jefferson deal cd lamb's agent is going to try to top that justin jefferson deal i don't think they affect what the niners do with brandon i use deal because whether Ayuk's numbers are relative to those guys or not, like the the usage is different, and so they supersede what Brandon Ayuk has done. But for the 49ers, you got to make a fair, decent offer to this kid because when you call on him, he answers. He's reliable. He's always open. Like – I get, I get what you're saying, and you're absolutely right. He's got to get this money. And you got to do it now before you pay Brock and start feeling the repercussions of Brock. Because Ex- you can pay Brock right now, exactly. and the repercussions don't happen for a couple of years down the road. Ex- exactly. So exactly. Miami we has about two receivers in the top ten. Ten, Talk exactly. Talking about total value of the contract, right? And so will the, so will the 49ers if they pay Brandon Ayuk. Hold on. No. Yeah. Oh, Debo's not in the top ten? Well, because Debo's contract was only 71.5 because it was only like a three-year deal or something like that. It wasn't a full four-year deal. So then they'll only have one receiver in the top 10, but they'll have two receivers that they're playing close to $30 million a year apiece. Yes, that part is correct. Yes. But people got to look at the total guarantee. Like, And Debo's mm-hmm. contract expires literally in two years, right? And so they got an out next year where they can mm-hmm. trade it. Ah. I, I personally think the Niners need to get kicked the treads now that now that July is on its way. I know we're just beginning to be in June, but I think they need to start kicking the tread on the tires because other deals are going to get done. And, you know, the longer they wait, I think the harder it, it is to get this deal done. I think it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be more complicated. And, you know, what Matt Mayoko stated, you know, reading his stuff was, you know, the Niners may not want to extend Brandon Ayuk. They might want him to just play out on this because they do got to start going cheaper at, s- at some position. They got to start saving money. And they draft it. Why draft two receivers? Like, make that make sense. But you got to replace the receiver on your roster. I I know. That's. I think I was being but I don't think it's Ayuk. It might not be. It's Ayuk. You gave Debo a three-year deal for a reason. What out in this at but the it, end of the second? But year. it could like be, gave, it could be Ayuk because you will save that. Now make that make sense because you're which saving. Guy's injured, which guy's producing? It don't matter. I don't think none of that. I don't think. I, I'm not saying that that doesn't matter. But you gotta, you're you're not tying up a lot of money, Mike, for the next four years in a wide receiver position. That's why you drafted these receivers. You bring them in here. Both of them go. You bring them in here, and you see what they can produce, and there, and you know how how well they progress in the first season, and then year two. If you don't extend Brandon Ayuk, he's a free agent. Now, do you franchise tag him? You could, but they don't have to extend him. People keep thinking they have to do it, and they don't. Right. He could um, not play and get fined, for sure. Yeah, that's what my Rita Oak moment is done. I'm not doing this no more. Got you. I'll draw it, but I won't post it. I got you. I'll keep keep my word. I don't want to be a liar. Say less. What a great show. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Mike, you're on point. I want to know out there, what do you guys think? Is this the type of deal? Do you agree with TJ Huseman's auto that the 49ers should give Brandon Ayuk the Amon Ross St. Browns deal? Let us know what you guys think. I will say this in closing. Brandon Ayuk will get the T, the TJ Hoosman's out of the Amon Ross St. Brown deal. He mm-hmm. will get that. Mm-hmm. Just don't know if he gets it from the Niners. All right. We live all the time, kicking it with the fam, bro. That's Mike. This is Breezy. And this is the BAM Show. <laughs>